Hi guys! Good evening! My name is Jenica and welcome back to my channel. So, for today's vlog, uh, tutulungan ko pa yo kung paano kayo ma-approve or magpano kayo magkakaroon ng credit card. So, if you're curious about it, please continue watching. Hi guys! So, welcome back. So, I'm gonna help you on how to, uh, yung, I mean, steps a step-by-step -step procedure on how you can get um a rewards master um, rewards master card credit a credit card in city bank so this is my first card in city bank um i got approved last january and i haven't used it yet um siguro um ginamit gagamitin ko lang to for groceries yan um and then Paano ba ako na-approve dito? Kasi actually, this is my second credit card. My first credit card was yun nga yung sa pinagtatrabuhan ko ngayon kasi I'm working in a bank as well. So, as an employee, we have a benefit that we can apply for credit card since I I think it's auto-approve since the employee ka naman as long as you already, I mean, as, as long as you're connected uh, in the organization for 12, at least 12, uh, 12 months. Yan. So, um, the last, ap the last time that I, I applied in Citibank, ito pa yung sa mall, yun na bibigay ng mga, ng mga flyers. Yun, yun pa yung time na yun. So, I think it was way back two years ago. And then, I never applied naman. And then, suddenly, I got my credit card na sa Citibank, which is the City Rewards card. Um, so, ano bang process dun? So, ang process sa Citibank, you just have to go to their website and then click on credit cards. And then, you have to choose the right and the suit, um, ano yun, a credit card for you based on your needs and wants. So, if you're, a, if you're looking for a card that doesn't have any annual fees for life, you can go for Simplicity Plus. But, um, you I, there's a required requirement for at least two hundred fifty thousand um annual income, yon, and then batawa don you I believe you have one of the requirement is you ha, you are you have parang meron kang meron kang additional I mean existing credit card holder ka na. so based on my my experience sa mga credit card holder, they are not usually um, parang binabacktrack kasi nila yung mga credit score nyo on how you handle your your expenses especially, especially sa mga external creditors. Yan, titindan nila kung nagbabayad ka ba talaga and then may mga utang ka bang hindi nabayaran, mga ganun. So, if you're a good payer, so you're, you have a chance to get approved. Pero I'm not sure if sa Citibank, if you, if you don't have any existing card, uh, I believe, ano, madedecline ka. Kasi parang ganun yung nangyari sa akin. Um, yung last two years na apply ko, hindi pa ako card holder, credit card holder nun. So, parang nadecline ako. So, yun, yun yung pagkakaalam ko. So, anyway, um, secondly, uh, after you fill up the, the instruction or the, the information, Make sure lang you have your government IDs. You have to submit. Ay, hindi, na ako, hindi naman ako hininga ng payslip nun at or COE. Anything related sa, sa uh, employer ko. I just provided my government ID. So, what are the government ID? Which is yung SSS, uh, UMID, ATIN, GSIS, and then Postal ID. Yun, yun yung mga government ID na acceptable na tinatanggap nila. And then, employed, syempre. And then, you ha make sure lang na you provide your, um, ano yung mga, patawa na yung personal information nyo. Dapat yung mga personal imp information is tama at genuine information. Kasi, um, matatrack yan eh. So, yan. Kailangan mag-provide ka ng tamang information nyo. So, once you receive the card, I mean, before you receive this card, mayroon kayo receive na message through email. So, the first step is, 
um, after you submit the application, you have they will provide you the application ID. You have to keep it so that you can check the status online uh, if it's approved or re uh, reject. And then after two to three days, receive ka ng email. If you receive an e advice e statement, meaning your application, uh, your application got approved, per pukula ka na receive na ganun, meaning um, reject your application mo. Kasi yung e statement na yun, meaning to say you have an account in Citibank already, where you can check your um, monthly statements. And then after that, wa, um, sa akin kasi wala ko na receive na call. It's all through emails lang. And then after that, you have to wait a couple of 48 or 72 hours. And then, may may receive ka ng congratulations. Your CT Rewards card got, uh, uh, got approved. Yun, yun na yun. And then, you have to wait for maximum 10 working days. 10 working days before you receive the card. Pero, um, you they will provide you the tracking number where you can track the the status of the card. Kung nasa na ba yung kung nasa na ba yung um credit card yung sang location na ba siya out for delivery na pa sang. Pero yung nag deliver sa akin is yung ITC courier, which is it's so hassle for me to use that website to track the credit card. Kasi nga. It says there it's out of I out for delivery, pero they didn't. There's no specification kung nasang lugar na yung credit card ko. So what I did is I contacted their customer service, and there uh, that's the time that they provided. Na that's the time that I was told na nasa Quezon City Hub na yung credit card ko. So um, siguro a piece of advi advice lang na. Once you contact, uh, it's better to contact the courier so that you can track sa ang location na ba yun. So, ayun. Um, after that, uh, they are not authorizing authorization letter. Uh, make sure lang na kayo mismo ang mag-receive ng card. And you have to provide your valid ID for verification. So, yun. So, siguro na ko all in all, nakuha ko to lahat from the process, from the first step up to uh, getting my uh, my credit card. Siguro maximum, maximum na wala pang 10 days. Nakuha ko ni credit card ko. So, ayan. So, once you get the credit card, what you get is this envelope. Ayan. It has the welcome kit. Yan, dito nakalagay yung credit card mo and then yung limit. Diyan. And then it doesn't have, it doesn't include the PIN. Okay? Let, I'll discuss it later how you will get the PIN for cash advance. And then the CNT, uh, I mean TNC, the terms and condition of the CT card. And then the CT card fees and charges. Dito ako nakafocus talaga. Kasi... Uh, mahirap gumamit ng credit card that you with zero knowledge ka in terms of the charges and fees. Kasi baka may gamit ka ng gamit, hindi mo alam na malaki na pala yung interest mo. At baka may um, na out of control ka na sa paggamit ng card. So, um, all you have to do is download the CT uh, mobile banking app. Kasi, dyan na lahat yan. Kasi, ito na nga yun, oh. Um, for you to activate the card, it has the sticker that says that activate your new card with the City Mobile app. So you don't have to phone the, you don't have to call the City, uh, City Bank customer service just to activate the card. Especially, um, nagwork ka, ganyan. Kung nagwork ka, busy ka, you don't have time to call them. So it's easy for you to activate the card using the mobile banking app, and then. Medyo ano nga, nag, sobrang na-impress ako kasi very easy, friendly, uh, easy to use yung, yung mobile banking nila. And then there is one thing that I've noticed na ATM pin. So you can also, I, I assume na you can create your, your, your card pin using the mobile app. So you never disclose that information because it's risk, ano, it's your privacy and it's very restricted and for your own safety na rin. So, 
um, siguro hindi ko na kaya sabihan ng mga um, piece of advice in terms of how you can secure your card because syempre malalaki naman na kayo so alam, aware naman na tayo sa mga fraudsters, mga ganyan so make sure lang yung uh, one time pin na, na sinesend sa sinesend sa cellphone nyo or sa personal number nyo, never disclose it to anyone ikaw lang talaga yon kahit customer service pa yung kausap mo sa phone never disclose the OTP okay and then yung pin code na ginawa nyo sa mobile banking app yung ATM pin never disclose it even if um even if you uh talking to the customer representative sa banko never never disclose it because um as a financial advisor we never ask that to our customers i'm not sure for the local banks pero sa international bank kasi we never ask for it so for CT agreement so ang una kong tinignan dito is yung charges it's actually based uh, sa page sa page 5 and sa page 5 the CT cash advance so yan yung mga importante mga late fees how what if you lost the card how much is the fee and then yung overdue limit uh, overdue limit fee, how magkano, and then, especially yung annual fee. Doon talaga ako nakafocus sa annual fee, kasi based dito sa city card fees and charges, um, for principal card, since I have the rewards credit card, um, they have, uh, they will charge you for 2500 But they have a promo that once you use your card, the city rewards card for worth 20,000 you will get no annual fee for life so for me go yan kasi kasi magbayad ka ng 2 5 year 2 5 yearly and i believe it's payable for 60 days so parang thing ko kaya naman yun um as long as you have you have um you have, parang as long as you have control uh in terms of spending using your credit card so, ang bala ko dito sa credit card na to is to use it for groceries kasi malaking tulong yan pagdating sa groceries. At least, um, you can uh, purchase or you can buy at least one month uh, one month um, batawad doon? Groceries. Yan. So, batawad doon. Pero, since hindi naman ako mahilig sa Parang wala naman ako naisip bilhin para sa sarili kong pang gadgets, gadgets. Parang feeling ko hindi ko naman siya kailangan. Like yung mga laptop, mga ganyan. Uh, parang feeling ko hindi ko naman siya kailangan. So, I don't think that I will buy for any gadgets or any appliances. Not unless kung very important Deep talaga. Kasi, kasi ganito yung pagkakaintindi ko sa CCT credit card, uh, CT Rewards credit card na... Um, you, every purchase you made, you have to pay it in full the next the next due date. So, pag na cover ko na yung twenty k, that's the time that I will pay it uh the next due date full balance. So yun mas maganda kasi magbabayad ng full balance at least hindi ka nagbabayad ng interest or any charges. So, ayan ah uh, mano pa ba? Um, and then, make sure lang na marami silang charges na nilagay dito. Like you cash advance, 200 per transactions. Monthly charge, uh, monthly late charges, 1,500. Or the unpaid minimum amount due, whichever is, whichever is lower. And then for, pero sa Simplicity Plus, they don't charge any late fees. Kaya ang laki talagang... Para sa akin, parang mas sulit yun in terms of charges. But I'm not really sure talaga. Kasi hindi ko naman siya ni-review talaga all through. Hindi ko naman gino through lahat ng, in, ng, ng terms and condition ng Simplicity Plus. Pero when I base it to rewards, mas maganda yung benefit. Kasi no late fees, no annual fees sa Simplicity Plus. Kaya maganda siya. And then, dito naman sa minim, minimum amount due, Meron din dito mga 1% and build principal of your pay. Mga gan marami, marami siya dito 500 pesos. And then cancellation processing fee 300 pesos and then 4% of unbilled portion of the principal amount. So 
uh, ano pa ba dito? Card replacement. In case that you lost your card, you will get charged 400 pesos. Card replacement fee for CT Prestige card, 400 for existing customer, but for if you're a new customer, you will get charged 800 pesos. Over limit, over limit fee, you will charge 1,500 or the highest over limit amount during the per billing period. Diba? Lalaki yung charges nila. Return check, kung may check ka naman, or blank check, you will get charged 1,500 and then Retail monthly effective interest rate will be 2%. And then CT cash advance monthly, you will get 2.04% inclusive of the CT cash advance service charge. So, yan. Marami. So, anyway, guys, kung mag apply kayo, um, you have to do ask yourself first if you really need it or if it's only want. Um, parang you have to balance yourself if it's wants or versus needs. Pag mas mataas yung needs, go for it. And then, but you have to think first if of kaya mo bambayaran yun. Kasi sa City Bank, malaki, ang, malaki sila magbigay ng credit limit. So, hindi ko i-disclose dito yung limit ko for my per, uh, uh, ano for my privacy purposes or yun nga. Pero malaki yung cash advance. I mean yung yung limit ng CT card. So, good luck guys. If you're planning to go for, or if you're planning to apply for CT card, um, you can use my, my link. I will link it down here or dito ko lalagay yung link if you really want to apply for it. And then, um, but I will um, may benefit kasi makukuha din dun. And, malay nyo naman, di ba, ma-approve kayo. So, yun. So, thank you so much for watching, guys. Sana nakatulong ako sa pagdidesisyon nyo kung paano, kung gusto nyo bang mag-apply ng CT credit card. Para sa akin, okay na to. For emergency purposes, uh, purposes okay to. Okay itong CT bank kasi malaki yung limit and then, kayang-kaya for emergency purposes. Thank you!